I'm uh, familiar with your quarterback, <laughs> being the Michigan guy that you know that yeah. I am. Um, tell me what Cade McNamara is bringing to the table for your team right now. Coach. Well, yeah, fortunately or unfortunately, we're familiar with him too. Yes. Uh, you know, we got to watch him the entire t- 2021 season on crossover tape, and then you know, we played those guys in uh, December, and, uh, you know, we were very impressed with him coming into that game and then left even more impressed. And uh, now that he's been on campus here, you know, better part of uh, nine months, uh, even more impressed. He's just a tremendous young man. And, you know, it was an unusual circumstance. You know, we're, we're clearly in a, a, you know, portal transfer uh, era, a new phase of football, if you will, college football. Uh, but but even before that, it wasn't uncharacteristic un- for a quarterback maybe to, to transfer, you know, if you end up uh, – coming out in the short end of a competition. And, uh, you know, we ironically, as you know, uh, sent a quarterback up to your, your alma mater, whatever year it would have been, 2015, that did very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had one go to Louisiana Tech that did very well. I think he won nine games as a starter his senior year. So that, that, that's not like a new thing. But, um, you know, long story short, we're just really thrilled kids here, tremendous young person. And, um, you know, he's done a lot of great things during his career already. And we're just, you know, really um, – Thrilled to have him on our football team and anxious to to watch him play this year. And he has been through a lot, um, you know, in terms of getting an opportunity, having the opportunity, crushing the opportunity, losing the opportunity, and now having another one coming off of uh, a reconstructed knee. Um, so how do you think that informs him when he gets into the huddle, Coach? Yeah, you know, I, I spent some time in the NFL, and I, I look at it this way. It's uh, pretty uncommon to – to get a guy in the NFL uh, through free agency who's a proven, you know, uh, playoff winning quarterback. And in Cade's case, he led his team to the uh, college football playoff, you know, top four teams in that 21 season. So to get a guy with a resume like that to come to your team in the NFL, you know, unless he's 38 years old or however old uh, Aaron Rodgers is, you know, it doesn't happen very often. So that's kind of how I'm looking at it. We're really excited. Uh, Certainly he had a medical challenge last year and has worked through that. We were careful with him in the spring. And, um, you know, uh, he's, he's had a great August. Uh, he's, he's fighting a little bit of an injury right now, but we expect him to play Saturday. And I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, thrilled to have him there. He's, he's got great leadership. And uh, the other other part he's got that you can't give a guy, he's got game experience. And, and not only game experience, but, you know, high-quality game experience. So we're just really thrilled to have him uh, join our football team and hopefully uh, bolster our attack yeah and the and big 10 experience i mean you just can't you can't just find kids like this just walking around so it's it, how how would you tell hawkeye fans how the offense might look uh different well, to previous yeah. years coach as you might imagine a lot's been made of him uh and his you know arrival here or the other part we have not been uh you know where we want to be offensively uh the last two years especially last year it was just it was one of those years it's not much fun to go through uh, but, you know, I've been around long enough, and we went through one of those in 89. We were in the Rose Bowl the next year. So one year you know, to the next year is a very different circumstance. And um, you know, I guess probably the thing I would, I would accentuate right now is that we're pretty, pretty much better. Not pretty much. I think we're better as we sit here today without playing a game better than a year ago at this time. At every position offensively, we've got, for the first time in two years, we've got good competition in the offensive line. Uh, you know, we got eight or nine guys that we feel could go in and play and play pretty effectively. And, um, you know, that, that hasn't been that well two years. And then same thing at the receiver court last year. We had one scholarship receiver uh, for the first opening game. And, you know, right now we've got, I think, five, six guys that are probably better than anybody that we had last year at that position. A couple of guys are in that group that are back. They're healthy and more experienced. And, um you know, feel good about our tight end position. We lost a great one in Sam Laporta, but picked up Eric Hall uh, as part of the Cade McNamara uh, transaction, if you will. And then <laughs> same thing at the running back position. We got the same same guys back, but you're older, and I think uh, you're you're better and more mature, you know more mature. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 